aviation and, and these firefighting planes and helicopters are just incredible what they can lift and carry. It, it really is incredible. Major respect for everyone fighting those fires on the ground and from the air. This one from the Frog Fire today, uh, about 40% uh, contained, 40, 45% contained. This picture coming to us from Central Oregon Fire Management Service. Thank you for letting us share your picture. Checking out your air quality, the worst of it is still in Northern California. We were getting some of their wild fire smoke earlier today from those south winds aloft. Uh, still in the unhealthy category right around Redding over towards Mount Shasta. Here, highlighted in this lighter gray color shows you where we have those air quality alerts that remain in effect, in effect pretty much indefinitely until we can get some major change in our weather or major change in the containment of those fires stretch across central Oregon, south central Oregon, and over to eastern Oregon and into Idaho. Overall, air quality doing much better at this hour in the good category and right around eastern Oregon in the moderate category. Richfield, 62 degrees from our ALNA camera, looking out towards the casino there in the distance. And uh, we've been spotting the first quarter moon out there, really pretty. Now, an update on the Atlantic Basin. What's happening with Hurricane Laura? Now, Category 2 hurricane, maximum sustained winds 105 miles per hour. You can see sitting over here in rather warm water, about 85 degrees overall. But thanks to a former hurricane that came through the Gulf of Mexico, oddly enough, the area right here where Laura is going to be passing through has actually cooled down in the wake of its path. So we could be seeing some strengthening even more so, but right now, category two, either way you take it, whether it's a category one, two, or three, still significant as we watch it approach the Gulf Coast right here. We do anticipate that it will strengthen to a three by the time we get to tomorrow night, right around seven o'clock with maximum sustained winds, possibly up to 120 miles per hour. So back here at home, how are things shaping up so far in Portland? 66 wind is out of the northwest at 12 miles per hour. Your sunrise time tomorrow will be at about 624. Seaside ever so slightly in the distance, you can make out our first quarter moon getting lower on the horizon. So any chance of rain? Yeah, another chance of thunderstorms again for the southeastern corner over into Idaho. That's tomorrow afternoon. But how about a little bit of rain to start off next Monday? It's a possibility. Models keep on showing it. We'll see if it actually sticks around, if we can get that trough of low pressure to drop in. Again, that would be next Monday, the last day of August. Until then, tomorrow, 80 degrees, mostly sunny. Nice weekend ahead, mostly sunny. Low 80s overall, and next Monday and Tuesday, mid-80s return. All right. Hey, coming up.